Hello guys, welcome to the Time Bomb channel and I'm your host, The Bombardier. Uh, got a little watch review for you today. Just before I begin, just again want to add that uh, not being paid for these uh, reviews, purely personal opinion, personal views on, on watches that I own um, and have had some years experience with. Uh, kind of designed to help guys out there who perhaps can't necessarily get to see these watches uh, in store. And today's watch of the day, as you can see uh, from our wonderful little container on the table, is the Citizen Eco Drive Promaster Professional Marine, model number BJ805008 E, or as it is affectionately known by its legions of fans, the Ecozilla, or some call it the Hockey Puck. I personally call it the APC, yep, the Armoured Personnel Carrier. And that's down to the fact that I think it's constructed with the equivalent amount of steel used to make this monster. So without further ado, let's uh, jump in and have a look at the watch. So this is the um, silver tone uh, stainless steel. Let me just grab the focus on that. Come on, focus. Thank you. Um, which, according to the Citizen website, was introduced back in 2017. Um, I've convinced myself that I've seen uh, older reviews uh, than that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, perhaps that's just my brain. There is another model which came out in titanium, um, which would clearly have taken a substantial amount of weight off this unit. Um, but I've not been lucky enough to see one of those in person and, and rarely see them uh, for, for, for sale. Um, they're also at a price point which, which uh, is out of, out of my budget. Um, so the BJ8050 is a pleasant 48 uh, millimeters in diameter and 18 millimeters uh, in depth. And of those 18 millimeters depth, six millimeters of those is actually the curved mineral crystal that's inside. Now that's an awful lot of glass um, on a watch. Again, not something that I've seen uh, many, many times. The, it also this 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 lump also houses the amazing Eco Drive B873 movement that has a superb and uh, yeah again groundbreaking 180 day, 180 day power reserve, and that typically comes off uh, 11 hours of full charge. Um, so that thing will just run and run and run. So unless you're living in a cage, a cave even, or a cage, uh, this thing is going to keep ticking forever and ever. Tick tock. Um, one of the reasons why I'm a fan of the Eco Drive movement is that um, this little baby, um, also another uh, Citizen Eco Drive, um, I think is probably around 15, 16 years old, um, had been at the bottom of a kit bag in international storage for a couple of years. Um, it then came back to the UK and was uh, shoved in someone's garage for a couple of years. <laughs> I took it out um, of that bag a couple of months ago. Um, and then with under 10 seconds of sitting on the windowsill, it was kicking back into life again. Um, I mean, what more could you want from an, a watch? The rediscovery of an old friend and uh, it comes back to life again within a matter of seconds, just with just with a couple of rays of sunshine. I mean, no more batteries required anymore. Uh, superb, amazing design. Kudos to, to, to Citizen for that. So anyway, back to the Zilla. Um, so again, it's a 300 uh, meter resistant tool diver, and it's clearly a tool diver. Rather comically, uh, Citizen uh, website actually suggests that these 300 meters water resistance is suitable for swimming, showering, and snorkeling. Not sure how many showers uh, I'm going to be taking at three with 300 meters uh, <laughs> equivalent depth, but anyway, <laughs> so that's uh, just some lovely, lovely blurb on the Citizen website about this. The loom, as you would accept, uh, expect, sorry, is citizen standard awesomeness. It's a blue loom that pops off the dial like a policeman's blues. I'm going to get a shot coming up here just on screen now. But as I was saying, this is not exactly a desk diver. Uh, it's, it, I used to work as a dive master in the Caymans, and I would have worn this watch uh, without hesitation. Uh, it would have fit for purpose in every way, shape or form. Um, however, at that time, we were only earning around 100 uh, US a week. Uh, so most of us actually wore G-Shocks simply because of that cost factor. Um, anyway, I was saying, I don't think this is the desk diver simply because it's 195 Gs in weight. It's a serious lump uh, on wrist. I'm just going to pop it on wrist now so that you can see what I'm talking about. I have a uh, seven and a quarter inch wrist. 
Um, and as you can see, this thing, yeah, sits sits very very proud on that wrist. <laughs> no, yeah. But anyway, for me, that doesn't bother me, but it would bother me if I was going to work. Uh, it's not going to sit under my uh, shirt, shirt sleeves. So yeah, again, this watch has its uses, its times, its places um, when you can use it. The wrist presence is eye-catching, but clearly that size is not going to make it a watch for every, everyone. I think many people will find this watch cumbersome and unusable. Um, the date window at three o'clock is so small, um, it, 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 it is again you know redundant i don't know why they just didn't leave it off leave that face that dial super clean would have been way better personally i don't use the uh, date windows anyway um most of my watches the dates are out of date because i never bother looking at them um the nine o'clock crown um as well uh, may be uh, an issue for some people i'm a lefty so, uh, and I'm also lacking Houdini's uh, dexterity. So if I want to make any changes to this, uh, the watch is coming off um, because as you can see, it's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite low down. Uh, it's impressed within those uh, crown guards. So yeah, trying to do that whilst it's on wrist isn't going to happen. But again, I don't have an issue with taking the watch off to, to, to make adjustments. Um, yeah, again, so as I was saying, so the, the, the size, if we were to make some quick comparisons. Um, so here is one of my aforementioned uh, G-Shocks. This is the, so just seeing the focus. Yeah, there we go. This is a G-Shock Frogman. This is a limited uh, special edition, which was the uh, men in rusty black. Um, and as you can see, the Zilla somewhat <laughs> dwarfs it. <laughs> just pop him on top. I think depth wise, there probably isn't that much in it, uh, but certainly, um, yeah. I mean, the the, the wrist presence on, on of, of of this thing is, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think that's probably one of the reasons why it gets so much love uh, from its fans because it's because of its uniqueness. Um, the the strap, um, however, um, I think is is an amazing quality rubber, and I don't have too much issue with the with the comfort of the strap. Um, but there are uh, a significant number of reviews around where people, you know, don't find it overtly comfortable. Um, as a consequence, I've, I've bought these uh, adapters uh, to, 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 to shift, shift onto the bottom there so that I can swap this strap out. I'm still procrastinating as to uh, the strap that I'm going to put on here. Um, I was kind of thinking of uh, blue camo uh, in preparation for the impending virus doomsday that is that is nearly upon us. Um, yeah, blue camo obviously being the best way to hide from virus. Um, you guys, got any suggestions about what which strap would look better on these? A lot of people put them on Milanese uh, straps. I'm not quite sure if that would would work. Um, anyway, moving on. So for me, as I keep saying, the watch is simply superb. There are really not many watches out there like this, and I've alluded to this in my review of the Seiko Five Sports. This watch has an identity reflected in its design that I can't see in the uh, Seiko 5 Sports. And I think it's due to its character and personal personality that consequently it receives a lot of love and attention on many watch enthusiast sites and obviously a lot of watch uh, <laughs> wrists around the world as well. Um, the All watches uh, have, have trade-offs and this one trades, um, I think, finesse for function. And maybe, I don't know if we can see this here, the, the second hand doesn't necessarily um, strike those markers, those minute, those, those second markers or minute markers with, with precision. But I don't think that's what this is what she's designed to do. Um, it'll handle, it might not mark those individual seconds, um, but it'll handle everything that you, that you throw at it. Um, the build quality is rock solid. Um, that, 60 click uh, bezel action is industrial and it makes no pretenses about being refined that's not what this watch is about and the price point i think accordingly reflects that i paid uh 225 pounds for this on chrono 24 obviously understanding that this is not a fresh off the shelf model it still makes that uh price comparison with the five uh, seiko five sports at 260 uh, 60 pounds uh, simply plain silly um yeah 
So as I was saying, I think this is the tool. Um, if you like, this is the old school Land Rover diver, uh, diver's watch, rather than the Soccer Mum Vogue uh, divers that many other watch manufacturers are producing. It's robust. And I honestly think that it's going to provide years and years of solid service uh, for, the, for years to come. And that's what attracts it to me. If I was to compare it, say, with my uh, Seiko uh, MM200, so yeah, the Baby Marine Master, yeah, I mean, this is this is finesse. This is is, is design. The design is is exquisite. It's beautiful. It's it's it's, it's as pretty as a pretty thing. And I shall be doing uh, uh, other reviews on this in due, in due course. Uh, but yeah, but to stick the two things together, um, so yeah, here's our old trusty Landy. Um, yeah, that's going to keep us going for years and years. And here is something which is, yeah, a whole lot more special. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, if you are looking for a supremely over-engineered dive tool watch that comes with what I think is an exceptionally uh, modest price tag, then this could certainly be one for you to consider uh, for your watch collections or watch usage. Guys, let me know what you think. Are we going to be cutting the red wire or cutting the black wire on this watch? Thank you, YouTubers. Um, if you feel it's appropriate, uh, thumbs up and subscribe down, down below. That would be much appreciated. Um, until the next time, this is your host, The Bombardier, signing off.